So the chicks on the left had knocked their water bowl over. So, um, yeah, all their shavings were soaked. So I cleaned everybody up a little. You know, took out about a gallon worth of um, chicks between the two of them and then added some fresh pine shavings. And, and they're not even interested in their food or their water. They're like, let's dig through the new pine shavings. And that would be on both sides. You know, just scraping. Ones on the left are doing it more, but living life large and loving it. Afternoon, this is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. So I went and did a little job this morning. And a couple of dollars, you know, it's always nice to have a couple extra dollars in your pocket. Um, and bought a, an upgraded feeder. For the chickens and then bought this one their own waterer so I can get my get my bowls out of there um, well the bowls have been awesome Does that makes sense they, uh, they tend to like to knock them over um, makes them thirsty and waste a little bit of food so now with the feeder and this one having its own waterer I should reduce both of those issues um, they can't climb in the bowl and scratch out the feed because that's what these guys like to do. And these guys like to tip over their water, and they can't do that anymore either. Alright, having said that, when we pick that stuff up, because, you know, again, it's always nice to have a couple little extra dollars in your pocket. Um, then picked up some stuff. The biggest thing, the bestest thing, are the, the little horseshoe nails I was talking about. The, uh, for attaching the fencing to the coop. So, that's awesome. And then I got some more gap and seal spray. This one is supposed to be non-clogging, which is awesome. Because my other one clogged all the time. So, yeah, just stuff. So what are we going to do? Um, we're going to hang out here in the house for a few minutes. And then um, we're going to go work on the chicken coop. You know? It's just what it is. I got this stuff. Let's do it. Tomorrow it's raining. I'm not going to be able to. Well, it might. It might. I don't know. You know. It's at that percentage where I may or may not get rain. But I don't have rain today, so. Let's get her done. Talk to you in a few. Alright, so I'm out on the coop again. I have some, some cock stuff sitting over there. Um, I'm not going to show it. I don't know if it's the best kind. But we're going to start on the roof. Get the holes cocked. And then, um, continue on. And the, uh, if we get all that cocked, then we'll get the inside foam. And then we'll start with the chicken wire that I want to put. Not chicken wire, excuse me. The, the welded wire and my smaller stuff. The little half-inch squares that I want to put around the base of the chicken cube. Um, again, Fort Knox. Doesn't anybody need to be in here but me. Um, if we get that done, then I start putting wood up and painting. It's, uh, awesomeness, you know? So... Let me get busy. Talk to you in a few. All right, so this is the start of that Fort Knox. Um, they're nailed in here. Or the fence is nailed in here. That makes sense. Up on the two by fours, and when the when I put the wall in place, the wall will come all the way down to here. That makes sense. So there'll be two and a half inches ish worth of fence that's in the wall. Um, from there, it goes all the way down to the ground, and then it comes out. Now this side comes out a little more than two feet. That side is a little less than two feet because of the way the slope of the ground is. Um, right in this area, that makes sense, I will cut it so the upper piece folds around, but the, the lower piece stays out the ground, what, I don't know, eight inches-ish. When I put the next piece on, it'll overlap this. Does that make sense? It'll come down and around, and its cut will be all the way over here. So right here, there's an 8-inch overlap at this corner. It'll be like that on each corner. And the goal is Fort Knox it. You know? Um, I've got some heavy stakes that I will stake the fence down. Um, and then I will line it with rocks as well. So if the raccoon or the possum come over and they move a rock, then they start scratching at the fencing. And then it's just like the fencing over there in the garden with the flowers and the herbs. They don't like digging in that. Now, I mean, if they don't like digging in it, they move on. They want easy. This is not easy. Um, having said that, once I get this on, 
I'm gonna go back through with the, uh, oh, see, it's buried. Sorry. With the half inch stuff. Does that make sense? And it's, it's, the idea is this will be completely covered with the half inch stuff. So now it's doubled up. Um, these here will just be the, like, like three or four foot high with the, the half inch stuff on the, the thing. And again, it's just, it's Fort Knox. It's not easy. They want easy. So, anyway, let me keep going. I'm gonna go over this way to the front door. Do this one next. Kind of take it down that way and then around. I don't want to do the front side yet because this attaches to that um, on the, the nesting box size. I'm probably going to wrap it to this pole, you know, everything under the nesting boxes um, because this is where the 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 run will actually stick out that makes sense so it'll be double fenced here so this is fenced into that pole you know what two feet and then this all attaches to that and that's got the same thing all the way around all of the all of the, the edge fencing will go out almost two feet all the way around four knocks baby eggs are like gold Probably be trading them for gold in a little while here. All right, talk to you in a few. All right, that's the first set I did. Then you go across what will be the door. This is where the stair, the stair, where the brick is, is where I will have access to the coop to be able to clean it out. Hi, Miss Panda Bears. Are you coming to inspect? Are you checking it out? You can jump up. Is Mommy stuff in the way? Oh, oh, it's not, it's not. There it goes. You want to jump up? Good girl. Good girl. You checking it out? Okay, you check it out. Make sure it's all good for the chickens. All right, so. Anyway, across where the door is. Um, you can see where it comes out. I've got the bricks and the rocks in place for right now because I've not. I have some really long, I'm going to say tent hooks, but they're not for tents. Um, so the corners where they overlap, that's where the hook's going to hold both sides down. Um, they're like a foot long. Life is awesome. Um, anyway, this side's done. Now this corner here is the one that doesn't overlap. Because when I wrap the chicken frame, it too is going to stick out two feet like this is. And the piece that's here is what actually overlaps here. Does that make sense? Because it'll come off of that frame. So I know it, it, it's the only corner that doesn't have an overlap, kind of. This one has an overlap that sticks out, you know, well beyond the, the coop because the frame comes up here and they will overlap each other kind of top, you know, up and down the hill. So it gives chickens a little more shade area, kind of, excuse me, center on the coop, center under the coop, along with the run. You know, everybody likes a little more space. Having said that, what's next? Um, tomorrow. Well, I don't know about tomorrow. The next three days, it may or may not rain. Yay! So, if it rains, I'm not working on it. If it does not rain, I will actually open one of my rolls here. That's the, the half-inch cloth, uh, wire, hardware cloth. And, um, it gets to do the exact same thing. Um, because while this stuff is good at keeping possums and raccoons and armadillos out of the chicken coop area, it's not going to work for snakes. So the half inch cloth has to go for snakes. So, and for that one, I'm just, I've got some little zip ties. I will zip tie the half inch cloth to the, the half inch hard wire cloth to the welded wire fencing. Um, Cause a snake's not gonna be able to undo it. Does that make sense? That, 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 that's my thought process anyway. Um, and then, again, the, there'll be a whole little rock wall kind of all the way around. And it'll go all the way down the, all the way down the, the run, you know, kind of just like that. With, they're not tent hooks, but I'm calling them tent hooks. Kind of strategically placed every couple of feet. You, they're not going to be able to dig it up. You know, that's the goal. Again, Fort Knox. I got the golden egg, baby. Panda, you approving? You approving? It's a good stuff. 
Mm, it's a good stuff. We touch our good girls. Huh? It's your mama's bestest girlfriend. Huh? It's your mama's bestest girlfriend. All right, Miss Panda and I, we'll talk to you later.